Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well and I hope you're ready for a really interesting battle showing off a load of new tech. So, a few weeks ago we did this, huge USAF anti-ship attack versus Russia's current Black Sea Fleet in 2023. It was a really interesting battle and playing as the Americans, we did actually complete the battle. We wiped out all of the 47 vessels of the Black Sea Fleet or at least should I say the warships. But it was a really ugly affair and we lost almost all of our USAF fighters. So we just managed it by the skin of our teeth. So what I've done is I've gone through and read your comments. Let me just see if I can check how many comments you've done. 716 comments of my sins I've been through and read them all. Now I can't action all of them because it's just not possible. So what I've done is got the four biggest complaints from you guys as to why it was such an ugly attack and we're now retro running it with the new suggestions first seed or seed suppression of enemy air defenses we should have done that why was it such an ugly affair from the americans it's because we were having to have a huge beyond visual range missile fight within a Russian S-400 Samnet. As soon as you've got to fight in a Samnet, as you all know, it becomes really one-sided in the favour of the Sam. Why haven't we done Seed before? It's because until today we haven't had the technology. The best American anti-radiation missile we've had is the AGM-88C Harm. It's an old 90s missile with a range of about 70 miles. Now that is simply not effective against modern Russian slash Chinese SAMs. An S-400 site has theoretically a range of up to 250 miles. Now that's no good having a 70 mile anti-radiation missile to try and attack against that. The 70 miles also only works if you're at 40,000 feet. If you're at 40,000 feet, you're going to get shot 250 miles away. It's just not possible. So we needed the new range of American anti-radiation missiles that are designed specifically for shooting Russian, Chinese, S-400, S-500 with their massive range. And we now have it, the AGM-88 Golf. Newly developed, will be in service 2023 according to USAF. Let's have a quick look at it. It's still in development with us at the moment. We've got a 150 pound warhead, a passive anti-radiation seeking a range of 160 nautical miles, although that's still disputed and we're still refining it. Maximum mark of around four. Now it's a big missile. The old harm was relatively small missile, about the size of a AIM-7 Sparrow. This is, I don't want to say copying, it's not copying, but it's going with the old Russian mantra of anti-radiation missiles. Russia doesn't do a lot of anti-radiation work because it's not really how their air forces operate, but they do have some. For instance, the KH 58U is a massive long-range wide-body anti-radiation missile with a range of about 130, 140 miles. It's an old 90s missile, but the Americans have finally decided to go that route. AGM-88G designation range well over 120 nautical miles. Theoretically, this should be an absolute game changer and allow us to start doing seed work to destroy modern SAMs. How is it going to be used in real life? Here is my theory. It still doesn't have the legs to beat an S400, S500 in a pure range fight. So what I suspect will happen is the fighter will come in on the oblique and offensive crank low. The light blue is when it's low, making it vulnerable from the S-400 until it gets to within about range of about 150, 140 miles. It then turns hot, climbs with its afterburner up to supersonic speed and 40,000 feet, fires the missile 130, 120 miles away from the S-400, then ducks away and hides for any growler missiles that have been shot at it. So that's my best theory, because like I said, it still can't win in a straight out shootout, but it more than twice as effective as the old anti-radiation missiles. Next, in our previous battle for the Americans, we used AIM-120D, the current best air-to-air -air missile America uses. You guys want the AIM-260, which is the next level up. Currently not in service January 2023, but we think it should be on wings later this year. So we've changed the AIM-120Ds out for the superior AIM-260. Also, the main Air-to-air -air fighting force was F-16C last time. Now, don't get me wrong, F-16C is a great plane, but asking it to fly over from Poland, 
charge an S a live S-400 site, dodge all those missiles, then fight their way through the Su-35s, it was too much to ask, and pretty much they all ran out of fuel, became ineffective, and got shot down. We're going for its bigger brother today, the F-15E slash EX. Remember, this is going to be a slightly futuristic fight. The good thing about the F-15E is it does have superior range. It can carry more missiles, shouldn't have the fuel problems. F-22 Raptors, we had a flight of F-22 Raptors. Now, last time, I had the F-22 Raptors coming in behind the bulk of the air-to-air -air fighters. By the time they got into combat, a lot of those 4th gen fighters had actually been shot down. This time, as per your specification, we're having the Raptors starting in front. Could they do that? Absolutely, because they're impossible to see at these ranges of well over 100 nautical miles. Those are the changes. Now, I have to go on the assumption that you haven't seen the original video, so I'm going to blast through this scenario as quickly as I can. I won't put too much detail into it. And before anyone says, yes, we've obviously done this version massively biasing it towards the Americans. So if you're Russian and you're upset, it's no longer a fair fight. I get it. It's not a fair fight. But we want to show what the Americans could do if they brought their big guns. First, Russians. The Black Sea Fleet as Wikipedia says, it is early 2023. 47 vessels. I'm not going to go through every single type. Oh, actually, why not? It's fun. Uh, we've got the Kuznetsov, uh, the Gorzhkov frigates at the front. I think about seven of them. About seven, no, about ten of these. Karakirk, uh, modernized corvettes. These are all excellent, excellent 2020s vessels, by the way. Next, older 1990s layer of Grisha. These are really anti-submarine, but they also have anti-air defense. Next, they've got landing craft, repushers now. Uh, then they had other landing ships and stuff that I'm just using American vessels for, some speedboats, some hovercrafts, some um, whatever the hell these are, oilers, supply ships. And then at the rear guard, radar guided corvettes. That is as close as we can get to the 47 vessels of the Black Sea Fleet. Yes, some of them are actually damaged in real life, but we don't know the extent of the damage. So we're just saying they're active. For now, next, two large S-400 sites here. And here in Crimea, I've modeled them on the largest S-400 site that I know Russia has. So they are very large and we'll have a closer look. But all of those launches there tell A's and tell B's. Next, air defense for Su-35s airborne patrolling the Black Sea Fleet with their maximum current loadout of R-77-1 times 8 and R-73 Lima. As well as that, there are 16 that take off from here, Sevastopol Airfield, and 16 that take off from here, Crimea North. So that is 32 Su-35s that will take off at a frequency of one aircraft every 30 seconds. And AWACS out here as well, just doing AWACSy things, otherwise nothing of the Russians works. Uh, there is a flight of wildcard Su-57s. They are running these in real life and they are actually joining in in the war in very small numbers with their new missile, the R-77M. Very, uh, this is what Simba got in a dogfight with last time, amazingly, if you remember. R-77M times four and two R-74s. They will take off every 30 seconds. And that is the Russians, the Americans or the improved Americans. The main attack force is this, 32 F-35 with anti-ship missiles, uh, AGM-158C Larasms, four of them, and some self-defense missiles. Why so many? It's because restrictions we have in game. When we start firing anti-ship missiles at that many vessels, 47, they become super inefficient. The game code just can't understand what to do. And therefore, it starts firing four missiles at every single ship. Massive deconfliction problems. It's not the game's fault. It's not designed for such big attacks. So I've had to put four times as many as we really should need. So it's 32. If you like, you can pretend it's actually eight. Two AWACSes. The main bulk of the attack is going to be 24 F-50E slash EXs. Everything today and always will be at max skill level. It's just the best way to do it to remove the pilot's skill because it gets really political at that point. They are going to be starting at high altitude distances. You can see here, 310 miles. You can start seeing why F-16 started running out of fuel. We'll fire at a maximum range of the missiles, which are a massive loadout today. 10, I think. AIM 260s to M9X and all the fuel that the good Lord can fit on uh, an F-15. So that is a really hefty loadout today. 30 miles ahead of them are our humans. And today we've got a rather measly turnout, but some good guys of Grump, Poosh, Simba, Cannibal, Drop, Violet. Say hello, guys. Ahoy, hello, guys. Hello. They'll be in 6 F-22s out front. If you watch our videos regularly, you'll know they have a reduced rate of cross-section, allowing them to be shot at about somewhere between 15 and 20 miles. We've got AIM 260s in their bays and two AIM 9Xs, and that will be my humanoids. They will be uh, doing their fighting. Uh, no 
responding today, guys. And finally, we've had to call in the Ukrainians. Six Ukrainian MiGs are attacking from the north to do the initial seed barrage. Is that realistic? No, because America are not giving AGM 88G to Ukraine. They're giving them AGM 88C, the old 1990s variant. However, at the moment, like I said, this is still in development with GR, this missile here. So all we've got it working on is this so far. So for role play today, as this whole thing is a bit unrealistic anyway, because we're using slightly futuristic stuff, we're bringing in these six Ukrainian MiGs with four AGM 88G each, firing at about 120, 130 miles for the first time ever fired against these S-400s. And we'll see how they do. Is it likely those AGM-88s will kill the S-400? No, not at all. Modern anti-radiation missiles aren't really designed to kill SAM sites. They're designed to shut them down. Either shut the radars off or run them out of missiles or run them out of a sufficient amount of missiles. Once that happens, the AGM-88's job is done. It's a bonus if they actually go and kill anything. And that means that the fighters and the bombers can come in and do their thing on harassed giving a total of russia two s 400 36 su 35 four su 57 one awax 47 ships 41 aircraft 47 ships and two sams as before us 32 representing eight to be honest f 35s and a ship 24 f 15 es as escort two awaxes uh six i think f 22s giving a total of that should be i think 60 in this case Aircraft and Ukraine are fielding six MiG-29s as seed with a total of six aircraft. Okay, welcome into the Battle Valley viewers. Just a couple of things to point out. The anti-ship missiles have a range of about 100 and 160 miles due to the fact they need to get a radar lock on the ships. Therefore, you can see a 160 nautical mile range ring here where my cursor is. So that's where the F-35s are going to get into. The average effective range of the S-400, I've shown here, about 150 miles, assuming the hostiles or the blues are jamming. And you can see that range ring there, that range ring there. So the MiG-29s, just to save time, are starting just outside of that range ring. The estimated distance at which we think an S-400 will detect a stealth aircraft of 40 to 50 miles, we put here. So this is danger for any stealth aircraft, F-35 or F-22. The F-35s, by the way, are not fully stealth today because they've got their... Lyrasins on, they are very low observability. Uh, they'll be seen about 30 to 40 miles away. Simba, if you are on comms, please unpause server. It's going. It's freaking going. Right, let's have a look at my humans first. We've got F-22. Oh my god, that's so good. That's my beautifuls. Next, uh, F-15Es. Next, 32 anti-ship uh, F-35s with their four LARASM, stealth anti-ship missiles. Uh, and today's wild cards, if you like, the MiG-29K, that they're not even running, but it's MiG-29, it's near enough, with the slightly futuristic AGM-88G wide-body anti-radiation missiles. Really interesting missile. Like I said, almost going where Russia went 30 years ago in terms of anti-radiation missiles. We've got some SU-35. Why don't we have a look at the ships? I know they'll come into play a lot later, but we've got Gorzhkovs, we've got Karakur, we've got uh, Grisha, all the real ships they have. We've got uh, Rapusha, we've got Oilers, Tankers, other Corvettes. It's actually a pretty dangerous fleet, I'll be honest. It's got a bit of everything, including supersonic anti-ship missiles. SU-35s today? Never write SU-35 off. No, are they as good as modern US fighters? No, not really. Um, and their, their price tag reflects that. But, hang on, stuff's happening. What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Things. Right. All the harms are coming out. Uh, missiles have been shot. Growlers around. Those harms are not stealthy or have not got them set up as stealth. As far as we know, they're not going to be stealth, so they will be shot at. And like I said, that's kind of the point of them as well. They're kind of there also to get shot at. It's an economy war as well. In fact, there's a really good point I'd like to make. A lot of you are saying, S-400 is too good in game. S-400 is too good in game. And you may well be right. But one of your arguments is that in real life, the S-400 is not shooting down a lot of the uh, HIMARS rockets. And that's in my theory in view and i'm pretty sure i'm right a lot of those high mars rockets they're firing are the low caliber cheap rockets with a cost of like fifty thousand per shot now the problem with shooting down one of those with a growler missile is a s400 growler missile is like over well over a million quid it's not economical 
for S-400 to shoot down 50,000 pound high Mars small caliber rockets. You just let them get through, take the damage. That will actually work out cheaper. Is it possible S-400 can shoot them down? I'm pretty sure. There's nothing challenging in modern warfare of shooting down a modern non-stealth high Mars rocket. But economy, there really is, because Russia would bankrupt itself in trying to shoot them down with growlers. That said, they will have to shoot these AGM-88. These ones have gone for the planes, look. The magazines are shown here. It shows them in shells, uh, in different types of missiles per launcher, as you can see. So we can find out exactly how far they've been drained. Oh, here they go. More missiles being fired. Let's see if we can get, have a look at the source. This is the beauty of the AGM-88G. It will just drain all of these missiles. One and a half million estimated a pop of a growler. Either type of growler. And let's see if they're going to get intercepted. I'm pretty sure they will do. Like I said, there's no reason this missile shouldn't be intercepted. Pilot Fox here. God, the guys are firing already. Well, let's watch this first, viewers. We've all seen Raptors shooting down planes. What we haven't seen is this before. Stealths are in now. Followed by the F-15s. Wow, Violet fired at... Grub Fox 3. 130 miles, you guys. 132, got shoot cue. Growlers are absolutely getting taken down. Uh, sorry, the AGM. This one's getting through. That's weird. Oversaturating the S400 question mark. Uh, money. Oh. 80 millions worth of growlers already fired. 90 million, 70 million worth of uh, harms. Extended range, extended range harms. None of the harms got through. But let's have, have a look at the ammo of these sites. They are out of ammo. And it's done exactly what it promised to do on the tin. It's drained a site. Can they recharge? Yes, they can, but it takes a like half an hour. So for the battle, they can't recharge. Now let's have a look at this one before we go see the air to air. Almost out of ammo. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine long range missiles left from 80 or something. So it's almost drained all of those. So well done. Right, time for the fight. Grump, cannonball. Grox, Fox 3. Yeah, they're all firing now. They're all firing. Is this uh, the modern uh, long-range air-to-air missile? Two-piece. Twin rocket motor. AIM-260. And look how far they can fire away. I mean, well over 100 miles at these altitudes and speeds. Whereas this guy can fire at 60, 70 miles with advanced adders, which are actually good missiles. Don't write them off, but they're half the range and much lower technology. Also, the radars in real life aren't as good as Raptor radars. Okay, more SG-35s are taking off. They take off in squadrons, uh, flights of four. Uh, right, let's try and watch some kills. So this, this, miss. He's been flying for a long time and hard to know who what's going for what, to be honest. Not very effective missiles. The AWACS is working okay, I think so. Then might keep firing, guys. I would suggest not getting too close uh, to the hostiles. First uh, bunch of AIM 260s, not uh, effective. Best guess, probably fired slightly too far away, run out of battery, my guess. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. It's tracking. It just went for one of these guys. Look at that. It was tracking. I think it found a new target. Bang! One splash. Here they come. Here come the kills. Oh, it's going to be a lot to look at. More kills. More kills. Okay, SU-35s are now falling out of the sky. Three SU-35s destroyed. And more about to, and they're not even within range. I mean, to fire on a Raptor, you need to be, in these conditions, about 20 miles. And they just cannot get that close. That was a thing. No, it wasn't. Bit of lag. Bit of server lag. It's perfectly normal to happen. The server has to try and keep up with all, all these sensors and all these aerodynamics, all these things that are happening in the background. Right, so far, not a single Russian air-to-air -air missile fired, and half a billion dollars worth of their aircraft shot down four su-35s it's showing the difference of when you step the american tech up to proper 2023's predicted technologies everything changes which value viewers let's face it is exactly what you asked for here oh again more uh, more uh, server latency it doesn't really matter though look at these guys firing just whipping off their missiles now oh. You always see the error of your ways when you watch these. The only time I get to run these is when, when the guys are here. You can see they're firing all these missiles. They're not needed. It's all wasted bloody missiles. In real life, they would deconflict. They would say, this squadron, this flight is firing. These four flights hold fire. But in, because they're not that smart, they'll just all fire. Everyone will fire. Everyone will waste their frigging missiles on these couple of guys. Uh, which means there's nothing to kill all this lot. At that point, you just you, you can't do much about it. There's, boy, yeah, there's nothing I can do about it. That is the limits of AI, unfortunately. 
On the plus side, they're absolutely wasting these SU-35s. I'm just going over the top. Uh, seven SU-35s down. It shows the leap in technology from the AIM-120D to the predicted AIM-260. They're going that fast because they're trying to get in range of the F-50. Finally! Oh no, growlers are coming out, but there's only a few left. They're just not going to be as dangerous as they were last time. Last time there was 80 growler missiles raining down on the F-16s, killing them or running them out of fuel, basically. This time, what, nine missiles or something accounted? And the felons are up. Here we go, felons. Russia's new uh, low observer, not stealth, but low observability platform. Does that low observability makes it... Wow, that's something wrong with its uh, thing there. That's not going to help its low observability. Will it make a difference? It will make a difference. You'll only see them about 50 miles rather than 100 plus miles. But still, it's not as good as true, true, true stealth. As I'm sure Russia would admit. Look how many missiles are coming in now. That is an absolute menace. But again, it's so wasteful. Would America really waste that many missiles on four hostiles? Obviously not. They would have deconfliction, almost Aegis type deconfliction protocols in place. But again, it's we can't add that in game. It's not possible. It's always going to see an element of um, uh, problematic fire. Well, they're starting to fire at least. Why are they firing? It's because they're now in range of the F-15s. They can't see the Raptors, but they can see the F-15s at 50 miles. Uh, I don't know. There's kind of too much to look at here, really. Oh, the AIM-260, the efficacy is really good today. Really good. Again, shows what a massive difference it makes adding that extra 0.7 mark over the um, AIM-120D. More advanced adders out. My main concern is just the wastage. There are a lot of Russian fighters that are going to be taking off from Crimea. Don't forget, Russia still has... I know they're not a premium air force as compared to America, but... Or China... But they still have over 100 active SU-35, so in real life, I mean. So don't write them off. Look at that guy. Go up to blow up, is symbolized to say. Wow, dodge it. <laughs> All right, look at that. Look at that, viewers. Absolutely. Oh, now here's the thing. The felons with their Aesa radar have detected F-15s a long way away. Over 80 miles. They're firing these R-77Ms. They're very brand new. Advanced, advanced adder that are just going on wings as we speak. They're firing them over 100 miles against the F-15s. And look at this guy. This adder's got through. No, it's missed. It's missed. Look at that. That there was named 260 going by. Any Americans dead? Any Americans dead? Two F-15s are down. Wow, I didn't see that happening. Well, it's going to happen, I suppose. Look how many missiles are in the air now. Kudos for server standing up to this. Look, also, look how good the Raptors have been. It's so tempting as a Raptor because you're almost immortal to run into the Sam Ring here where they will get shot or run point blank to the guy to the baddies. The Raptors haven't done that because they're using their brains and so they're not putting themselves cheap kills. Now, look how many missiles are going out. In fact, I can count. 211 AIM 260s fired. And the money is 0.7 billion. Woo! Let's see these starting to fire and drop down out of the sky. And that's a miss, miss, miss. Run out of legs. Went too high. If they go too high, they won't be able to manoeuvre. Went too high. No, it didn't. Back. Now, um, this is what I'm worried about. Uh, Ford 51, Ford 51 is running into an advanced adder. Now, if Wikipedia and whatnot is to be believed, this is a real menacing missile. Not quite as good as AIM-260, but not that far behind. And probably better than AIM-120D. It's a very, very modern missile with modern impulse. Now, here's what the F-16 couldn't do. It didn't have fuel by the F-point to dodge missiles, and they were running around at 400 knots, and they became cannon fodder. F-15, much more fuel. You can just half of it all the way. That's not going to save him, though. That's a very good missile. Okay, Americans are going to start dying now. It's unfortunately, they've hit the limit of 4th gen. Also, they couldn't really return fire on, on the um, SG-57. SG-57 and low observability. Good dodge. Low observability. You can only be shot at about 50 miles. Hence why the felons... No, the felons are going down now. They're going down. They got too close. Three felons down. Just wiped out by the... By the, by the, the whatever this is. Just the, the moving sea of missiles. Where is he? Yep. Dead. All fell on stead. Wiped out. Oh, ho, ho, ho. 23 Russians destroyed. Oh, I, sh I forgot to say Raptors. The Sams are drained. So you can now go wherever you want. You don't have to worry about those yellow circles and stuff anymore, guys. Absolute destruction, guys, going on here. The difference it makes up in the technology. And they were genuinely... Do you remember last time? They were genuinely struggling. Aim on 20 d and not that many of them. Little fuel. Operating a SAM net made it very difficult for the Americans. This time, it is night and day. They're, they're walking over. I mean, some, some Americans are dead and, you know, some missiles will always get through. There's still a bunch of active uh, 
uh, advanced, advanced adders going here, unfortunately. Even when they're fired, they will guide on their data link. So even when the uh, Phelon is dead, these missiles stay alive until their battery runs out. F-15E is good, but it still will run out of fuel eventually. And missiles, they're all out of missiles now. Now, what I would usually do, viewers, is I would tell them, once they are out of long-range missiles, to go home and save their life. I can't do that here because there are no bases here in Ukraine modelled. So I've had to say fight to the death. So at this point, you will see lots of Americans needlessly dying. I literally can't do anything about that. If there were Navy planes, I suppose they could have put a carrier there just as a, a stopgap and said, go to the carrier. But I've got nothing. So um, I wouldn't pay too much attention to American deaths from now on for that reason. Have we got, where were the Raptors? Where were the Raptors, viewers? Can you see the Raptors? There's one. Let's drop. They're there. Dotted about. There's Cannonball. Raptors have to think about their fuel as well. Obviously, they've got limited fuel. 29 Russians down. 29. And these guys will just go on and fight now forever, look, with their Sidewinders. Adders being fired there. Right, adders are still going out, guys. Yeah, you see that? Now, these are surprisingly dangerous missiles. The range is only 60 or 70 miles. They can maneuver very well, and they trick the Americans a lot because of their maneuverability. Still no Grump Raptors. Grump got his flash. I'm getting out of here. Roger Grump, uh, if you want something to do, go and protect the F-35 Lightnings on mill power. America's about to be caught out here by Adders. That's his own fault. He had a very good warning they were coming. Sometimes they just won't dodge, as humans won't sometimes, you know. Sometimes you get target fixated, they'll ignore the missile warning, they'll think they've got the time. When they haven't, that's the real thing, and it's modelled with AI as well. They will get target fixated. You see, these guys are just going to die stupidly now because they've got no missiles. No missiles. They've got guns and sidewinders. In real life, they would have pulled out now, RTB'd, rearmed, refueled. Will ED ever model this part of the map? I hope so, because this is like where the real world conflict is going, and this is a war sim. They don't want to say that, but it's obviously a war sim. So give us the freaking bases so we can play it properly. Good dodge. I think those are probably the last uh, Russians, guys. Start polishing them off, please, Raptors. Oh, Pussy's merged, and I don't think he realizes what's happened. Oh, he call. does. These guys going in for sidewinder kills. Obviously. Fox Fox 2. Sidewinder's no match for a, an advanced adder. Probably the first Aim9X out for the day. But these uh, baddies are set to a skill level, and they can see the raptors now. They're within range of the raptors. In fact, I think a raptor literally just freaking went by. Side one, missed. Merge raptors. They're all out of ammo. They've used all that ammo up. That's uh, so a first F-22 down. Bang! F-22 down. Oh, it's going to start get expensive for America. Like I said, at this point, take it with a pinch of salt from now on. In real life, they would have RTB'd. All the stuff I've said before. Yeah, the F-22s are out of ammo as well, aren't they? So they're going in for sidewinders. That's why this is happening. Come on, Violet. Go on, Violet. Guns, guns, guns for Violet. Do a thing. Use that V-thrust. It's all merges now. There are no more long-range air-to-air missiles left on the map. Careful, somebody you're shooting into it for a ball. Violet versus four in a dogfight. Good luck. I'm assuming that's Violet, G. I don't know. Miss, miss, miss. No ammo. Guns, guns, dogfight here. Oh, how about that? Got his snow shot off. Look at Drop. Drop's chasing that guy. He's like, oh, let me go. Let me live, Drop. Let me live. Won't you let me live? I want to see my wife ski. Drop's like, no, I'm Drop. That is a, That's a good impersonation there. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, they're really spoofing those sidewinders today. Not much flare rejection going on. Violet's still in there. Come on, Violet. Dogfight at 35,000 feet. Even Raptor isn't great at 35,000 feet. You move back to the thrust. You need the wings to work. The wings still have to work for it all for the whole package to work. And wings don't really work at 30,000 feet. In fact, if anything, you've got probably a much better wing loading on that uh, on that flanker. And we might as well see it through. The anti-ship missiles are about to come out unopposed. Remember, in the previous round we did, they were launching these. Uh, Etogram missiles whilst they were being swarmed by SU 35s, and it shows the difference here. Finish your lives off with a bit of fun, then, guys who are in there, just go in for some sellies. Because everyone's out of missiles at this point, it's just a big dogfight. And not a single sidewinder's in today, they've all been duped. I got one splash with the sidewinder. Hmm, fine. Oof. F 15 got one with a sidewinder. He did, I was just watching that. Good player rejection. Uh oh, advanced adder coming in. One F-15, run. 
bang. Oh, an M260 still alive. That's come from like literally like half an hour ago, just dropping out of space. Both sides have costed three billion dollars. This is an expensive friggin' war, guys. That's like a big chunk of Russia's GDP. Violet is still going. Using America's chunk of uh, GDP. Ah, uh, oh, she's out. Yeah, it's very hard to dogfight these. Uh oh, uh oh, flares. Hob just came at you. Oh, look at it bend. Did you see that R74 bend? It went right the way round, back, and then back on her. That's a good way to die, Violet. I'll let you die. Guys, don't quit the server because I, I want your bragging rights. Drop guns, cool. Oh, about time. You track that guy down. He's not dead yet. Yes, he is. He's very Splash much dead. Drop. With, uh, well done, sir, Grumpy Wumpy. At this point, it's just fun and silliness, obviously. Hob just came at you. Oh, look at it bend. Did you see that R74 bend? It went right the way around, back, and then back on it. That's a good way to die, Violet. I'll let you die. Guys, don't quit the server because I want your bragging rights. Drop guns, cook. Oh, about time. You track that guy down. Not dead yet. From Splash One with uh, Sidewinder. Raptors are not going to go in dogfight SU 35s. It's, you know, they will be forbidden to do that for a million and one reasons. Lorasms are out. Lorasms are out. Here they go. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you, you've probably seen a million times before, a Razum. Um, nothing more to say. Right, guns, guns, guns. The rest of oh, look at that. Poor drop's done. Go and drop. They're 300 million per site. And this is a big site. This is probably more like 400 million uh, to Russia, that site. In real life, it would be guarded by, uh, yes, Panzers, AAA and stuff. I get it. We're just having a bit of fun at this point. Look at It's not realistic. Oh, shut <laughs> Go on, Grump. Grump slash one on guns. Run and Grump. My Grumpy boy. Oh, apparently not Grump. Apparently, yeah, apparently Russia not. Man he put his engine fire out. Yeah, he's back on fire, Grump. And he's out. Uh, yeah, that'll do it. Grump, you want to go and help Cannonball? He's uh, having a bit yep, of a Cannonball, you take one, I'll take the other. Oh, they've run out of fuel. Finally, yeah, the Russians have run out of fuel. AI and human fuel is all modeled the same. There is no difference, so they will run out at the same time, basically, if they use the same amount. Thing. And he's dead. Sort of. I don't think he's dead, Cannonball. You want to mind when yo-yo finish him off? Uh, I think he's dead. I got the other one on site now. All right. Got rounds are still exploding. That's so funny. Guys, guys on the next one. Double guns, guns, guns. There's a batch of F-35s at the coastline getting ready to, to launch their Lorazms. Roger, uh, Simba Wimba. Yeah, I just want to see this kill. Gone grom -tastic. Well done. Bye bye. Everyone likes seeing, seeing Erasmus fired. Everyone, it makes it. Look at their little wings go. I am a Lorasm. Well, I wish I was a Lorasm. I've got my little wings and they just pop out and they look cute and, 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 and funky and a little bit fat. Just like this plane. Last dogfight's happening. It is Cannibal versus the guy that refuses to die. Oh, his engine fires out. Don't you let him get away. All of the Lorazim. Yes, 128. Bad boy Lorazim. Again, kudos for server. Holding up. Like our little server now. Here's Guns Jink all over you, Cannonball. I am Guns Jink. I love those bullets exploding, the sound it makes. Sick. Get the best of you, Cannonball. He is getting the best of him. He's a no, little. Oh, he already did. Look at him. Oh, he's out of ammo. Rob, do a thing. Rob's out of ammo too. Huh. Drop's coming. <laughs> well, that guy's not having a good day. Right. Imagine being that guy getting no fuel, no ammo, getting chased by a bunch of raptors. Da 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 da. Come on, Grumptastic. Plus he's missing some vital surfaces. Drips is coming in. Oh, there you go, the boys can't get him. He is a real little munter, isn't he? He's a munter. This is AI at his finest viewers. He doesn't want to die. 
and he's not just going to fly like a knob, he's going to gun jink. Exactly what he's supposed to do. He's going back to the S400, and the S400 has one missile left for you. <laughs> this is so funny, the boys are going to get shot. You guys have like 15 seconds to perform this action. <laughs> nerd, nerd, nerd. Lorazm, 27 miles. Come on, slow ass Lorazm. Uh, I just went through that aircraft, so it might be a decent thing. Yeah, uh, he's, he's caused his damage model spark just to leave him. A thing's happening, yeah. viewers. You see what's happening here? A thing. Meanwhile, I'm down for landing. Current Hill's amazing Navy that he's creating. Why can these uh, ships see the Lorazm and other ships can't? It's to do with how the radars are set up. How realistic it is, no one's going to know unless they actually fight. Literally, no one knows. But it's only how we've got this set up. These Lovely ships are low and low. Right, yeah, they will do that. Pretty much like they're doing real life as well. It's either this or they die. The cash towns are so good. Oh, did you see that? Hermes K, that's a Panzer you might notice uh, by the name of it. What a great fight this has been, guys. They're getting by, the missiles are getting by. Did you see that? Did you see those? That's, that's AK-635. Very powerful version of SeaWiz. Very cool. 15, 14, 13, 12, retard, retard. Imagine being here real life, real viewers, the amount of shock waves in the air, the violence in the air. It'd be absolutely mad, madness to see how it's going. Oh, well, they've defended themselves, but they've only defended one bunch, and a lot more bunches is coming. Look, they've even got little guys modeled that will go tacka tacka tacka. Look at that, viewers. You can even see the, the, the little electric drive motors. I mean, how cool is that? The, real, the, the graphics that are all modeled here. Oh, did you see that? Zzz. Zzz. I call it little ED209 turret. See the green lasers coming out. Green lasers. Ah! Nope, I can do it. Look at that, viewers. It's so freaking cool. That's why we invest so much time in this game. So, uh, it gives us the ability to create cool stuff like this. Otherwise, we wouldn't. Missiles getting through. I can't have seen this. Report. Is it the side gunners on the boat do not die. The what? Oh, the, the side gunners. How about that? Yeah. They're, they're rushing, they're tough. They're tougher than the average guy. That's all Simba. They're on fire, everything's on fire. Yeah, well, we saw what happened last time we ran this. They all get smashed, obviously. Uh, we're going to debrief while we're doing this. Uh, the Americans smashed the Russians, as we kind of thought they would. The SEAD was the main factor in that. It drained 90% of those S-400 missiles, which meant the F-15 could go in unopposed. Completely destroyed the Russians. They got silly at the end, obviously, because, like I said, they weren't programmed to go home because there was no home to go to. So they all just flew in and tried to gun and sidewinder. And then, obviously, 20, 30 Americans just died. Obviously, the Raptors are the same thing. You know, they've got nowhere to go. So they just go into silly dogfights. But it shows the absolute superiority of the modern technology versus the previous run we did with the existing AIM-120D technology and stuff like that. Before the last ships goes down, has anyone got anything intelligent? Ideally intelligent. I know I'm grasping for straws here, but to say. Yep, America. America is the thing you're going to say, Grom. Yep, the America. side mount gunners went down with the ship. The side mount gunner died. No, no, he stayed in his post and just went down with the ship under Russian. Yeah, like they did on the Moskva. Demonetized. Yep, that's the thing that does it. No, it's the uh, Ukrainian World Heritage site now, right? Yeah. Moskva was actually the uh, the leader. She was the flagship of this fleet. The is a hit. The push is a hit. Molly's about to get hit. Look, they go right through, right through. They seek out, they seek out the military ships. Oh, I got shot. Huh, how about that? It's a Seawiz on the mountain. Never mind. All right, last ones are going in now. Here we go, boom. Whole, uh, the whole left stop side. That is all. That's it, we're done. Uh, we completed it, valued viewers. That's as good as we can possibly do it, as there are always some restrictions here or there, so there's only so good we can make it, but that's about as good as we can make it, other than just having all Raptors. Uh, and I was I was really happy with it. I was really chuffed with the, the, the tactical benefits of this tech, especially the AGM-88G and what that can bring 
to suppression of defenses S400, S500, HQ9, HQ15 for China. Guys, I'll see you later.